What's going on guys? Today we're going to be reviewing the new Action Spanker Box, an animation throwdown. First up is the legendary pre-combo of the box, Class Spanker. This is a great pre-combo. It has everything you would want out of a pre-combo. Its HP is pushing almost 60 at 58 there, so it can take a few hits at the very least, giving the AI time to build a wall of cards with your deck against your opponents. What's more, it's also going to be delivering some sweet damage between its double digit payback and punch. And the hijack is the cherry on the cake to keep your opponents from being able to build any attack power against it. This is one that will certainly still be useful in any defense deck even after the fighter bonus ends. As for the items, first up is the new Himalayan Observatory Monks Fighter card. This is great for defense. It has over 50 HP, which is in the sweet zone for what you should be looking for defensively. On top of that, it's got the sturdy skill to make it even more tanky, plus some bombs added in to dish out some extra damage to shave points off of your opponent's score. This card can also double as a support healer for your fighter deck for rumble attack decks and the non-refillable challenge. One other thing I want to note is that this is a Futurama item. Futurama has a few really killer fighter combos that can support a complete Futurama deck pretty well. So keep that in mind if you're trying to put together a show theme deck for Siege. The other two items in the box we've already covered extensively in a previous video, but to briefly recap, both are really good fighter cards that you don't want to miss out on. As for the combos, they all make the exact same combos that we've covered before in my reviews of the best fighter combos video, so be sure to check that out if you haven't already. The link will be up on screen and in the video description. You can also check out my Facebook for a full fighter combo map on there as well. Also feel free to drop a like on there because I will be posting those combo synergy maps for every battleground effect as they get released. Now let's take a look at the characters of the box. First up is the brand new legendary character that they just added into the game, Lois Griffin. Lois is looking like she's going to be a good option to run defensively. She has just shy of 50 HP and some sturdy wall built in there to help support her. Speaking of support, she's also got a good chunk of motivate to help support your card line. And another neat feature is the heal all to fellow Family Guy cards for if you're running an all Family Guy deck. It's more of a novelty than anything else as most people aren't really running full Family Guy decks, but it's still neat. As for her combos, Lois currently combos with 105 different cards. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind, that's just the number of cards that she combos with in the game, not the actual number of different combos that she has. That's closer to around just 10 to 15, which is kind of lackluster. I am hoping that with the addition of her as a legendary card, she'll get more new combos added each month when the battleground effect switches. And speaking of the battleground effect, Lois does have a fighter combo, which is the current battleground effect. You can make Karate Lois with quite a few different cards. I love this combo for both offense and defense, but especially for defense. When all of the cards are quad fused out, she has around 20-ish payback and around 15 craze. So you have a fairly high HP combo with good starting attack value that's dishing out a crap load of damage each turn while getting increasingly stronger to boot. Now before we get into my top 5 list for Lois's combos, I do want to highlight one more combo. I know most of you already know this, but for those who may not have heard, the next Battleground effect has been officially announced, and it's going to be a brand new one. Coming after Fighter is the long-awaited Addicted BGE. And currently, there is one addicted combo for Lois, and that's Model Lois. I'll admit, it's not my favorite combo for her, it doesn't even make my top 5 list. However, it's fairly decent defensively. When everything is quad fused out, the combo has just over 20 sturdy wall, plus it has some fairly high HP, which makes it a pretty good buffer. Now with the two currently relevant BGE traits out of the way, let's take a look at my top 5 combos list for Lois. And first up is actually her Karate um, combo that we just covered for Fighter because, I mean, do you see this thing? So much damage output. The next one is her one of her drunk combos, Church Wine Drunk. This one is really similar to the Drunk Peter combo, which some of my longtime um, viewers might recognize as one of my favorite underrated combos. 
Like Peter, she has mid to high 20 cripple and gas damage when everything is quad fused out. And instead of the jab skill that the Peter one has, you have a high value for boost, which makes this a killer combo for both offense and defense. It has some amazing damage output while also being able to stall out your opponents from being able to damage you much, and it can get ridiculously strong after making just a few additional combos. The only way that this combo could be even more broken and OP would be if it was made with the same cards as Drunk Peter. That's right, sadly Lois does not combo with items that make Drunk Peter, so you can't run both simultaneously. Which actually is a good thing because if you could do that, you would have the most broken OP deck ever. That would be like the ultimate Family Guy deck. Don't let this dissuade you from running Peter along with her though, um, especially for Drunk, as you can make Viking Peter and Drunk at the Clam with some of the items with him in there, so there is some overlap. Her next combo on my list is Softball Lois for Athletic. You, um, you might have started to notice a theme here. Like the other ones on this list, I really dig this one for its insanely high damage output potential there on defense with the Punch Payback combo. Um, both are near the low to mid 20s when it's maxed out, which make it a killer for shaving points off of your opponent's scores in rumbles and challenges. Next up is one of her disguised combos, SNM Lois. Once again, you have amazing damage output potential with the punches and boost, and some longevity there with the sturdy wall added in. When it's maxed out, you have those values at the high teens, with the punch being in the mid 20s. And the last one on my top 5 list of combos for Lois is Diamond Ring. This is a bit of a specialty one as it is a combo with the rich trait, which you may have noticed has never had its own battleground effect. In fact, there is currently only one legendary item in the entire game that can make it, which is Bag of Nickels. But hey, they finally made Addicted an actual battleground effect so maybe Rich will get some love too at some point. I love this combo because it is a really great defensive one. Not only does it deal some pretty significant damage with its 20 plus payback when it's maxed out, but it also has 26 leech to heal itself every time it attacks. And that 26 leech goes hand in hand with its 70 HP, so that makes it pretty awesome. Like I said, this combo can only be made with Bag of Nickels for the Legendary card, sadly. However, those of you who are stockpiling the epic rich card Golden Turds, don't fret. You can make this combo with it as well, although keep in mind the stats will be a bit weaker compared to the Legendary one. And that's it for Lois. The other character in the box is Steve Smith. We've covered Steve before, however, to recap a bit, for those who may have missed it, Steve is one of the best defensive characters in the entire game. He has 56 HP, which makes him really hard to kill in one shot, and on top of that, he has 11 leech to recoup some damage that he might take. Plus, the little bit of bomb is always nice on defense. He's also good support for an American Dad deck with the Motivate 2 American Dad cards, especially for Siege due to him having some killer combos. Which, speaking of, as you can see here, Steve currently combos with 158 different cards across the game. Steve currently has one fighter combo, which is honestly one of my favorite combos for fighter on defense, Steve Arena, which you can actually see me using in action during one of my matches this rumble. His skills are the perfect combination for defense. When he's maxed, he's got the sturdy wall up in the high teens and leech just shy of 30. These two things combined with his already insanely high HP stat that can be anywhere from the low 70s to 90 make him pretty much impossible to kill. By the way, those HP stats I just gave you? Yeah, those aren't including his current fighter buff which puts it above 120 in some cases. He also has a fair amount of hijack which is a great counter to a lot of the crazy crazed combos out there in the game. Steve also has an Addicted combo with Drawl Steve. Similar to the Karate Lois combo, it deals out a good chunk of payback damage and it crazes every turn. It also has plenty of HP when maxed out to ensure several rounds of the payback and craze will trigger before your opponent will be able to kill it as its HP is in the 70s to 80. Both of these combos that we just looked at actually make my top 5 list for Steve, so let's go ahead and jump right on into the remaining 3. His next one that I really like is one of his armed combos, Wheel Steve. This one is great for defense and works really well for offense in Arena and Secret Fight Club. 
I had a lot of fun running it myself back during the armed battleground effect that um, recently ended. When maxed out, it has an insane amount of payback in the mid-20s and a boost value at around 20. On top of that, it crazes for about 15 too. Talk about high damage output. This thing is an absolute killer. And speaking of absolute killers, another one really similar is one of his disguise combos, Boy Witch Steve. We're talking crazed in the low teens, payback in the 20s, and leech just shy of 20, which pairs perfectly with his insanely high HP stat. This is another great one for defense and potentially really good on offense in the right situation. And last up on my list is one of Steve's other armed combos, Water Gun Steve. While not quite as good as Wheel Steve, this one is still great for defense because of the high damage output between its 21 punch and 21 payback when it's maxed out. One thing to keep in mind, you can't make this with um, very many legendary cards, unfortunately. In fact, I believe you can only make it with two legendary um, items, and one of those items, despite being listed in-game, has never actually been released. I'm looking at you, Shovel Card. And that wraps up the characters of the box. Now before we um, close out this review, let's peep the epic pre-combos. First up is our boy Steve Arino. I already told you how much I love this combo, and the pre-combo form doesn't disappoint either. While the HP isn't above the 50 mark that I'm normally looking for in epic pre-combos, its skills and stats are balanced just enough for me to just forgive that and still love it. I can definitely see this card working well as a buffer on defense, especially with the current fighter battleground effect. The same goes for the other epic pre-combo, Action Delivery for Soidberg. This one does have over 50 HP, and it's great defensive support with the bodyguard to shield your defensive line and to motivate the fellow fighter cards to cause extra damage. And speaking of extra damage, you also have a good chunk of bomb damage there, which will be getting buffed by the current fighter battleground effect, so it's a fantastic option for defense right now. So in conclusion, the legendary pre-combo is solid and will be useful even after the fighter bonus ends. All three items are great additions to any fighter deck. Both characters are fantastic defensive options. I would argue due to their combo potential, they might even be some of the best in the entire game for defense. And both epic pre-combos actually impress me and look runnable at pretty much all levels of play. This one is a textbook open and shut case of a perfect 5 out of 5 golden turd rating on the box. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the review, please leave a like on the video and be sure to subscribe for more reviews and awesome content. If you want to be one of the first to know when new videos drop, you can go ahead and click that little bell icon there too. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later, skaters.